And the arrival of multiple COVID vaccines means the push is on to inoculate educators so our schools can reopen. But as NBC4's Beverly White reports for us tonight, for the nation's second largest school system, getting back on campus means more than just getting shots in the arms. Carloads of teachers, cafeteria workers, and janitors flooded SoFi Stadium, one of four sites now vaccinating LA Unified's 86,000 employees. And importantly, this effort recognizes how staff are all connected at schools. LAUSD's vaccine rollout coincides with the state announcing a $6.6 .6 billion bill to expedite elementary schools resuming in-person learning, $2 billion to support COVID safety. We incentivize opening up our schools by providing real resources to do it. Teachers Union UTLA also wants lower infection rates. Leaders say the state unfairly equates COVID outcomes in wealthy areas with under-resourced low-income schools. If this was a rich person's disease, would have, we would have seen a very different response. We would not have the high rate of infections and deaths. Now educators are asked instead to sacrifice ourselves the safety of our students. L.A. County's Office of Education calls the state schools reopening package a great start, but says the 80 districts it oversees require flexibility in expenditures and timelines. The target reopening in LAUSD is mid-April for special needs pre-K and elementary students. Staff vaccines not required yet, but will be next academic year. Protesters in Calabasas want to return to class now. For people like me with um, focus problems such as ADHD, ADD, um, and depression, it's really hard to stay at home. UTLA is negotiating this week and members voting on terms it says will enable a safe return. Vaccinations are a critical step forward to getting back in-person teaching and learning with our students. The state budget plan approval is expected Thursday. In Los Angeles, Beverly White, NBC4 News.